Hi, my name is Alexis Bailey, and welcome to my public health presentation about maternal mortality. Who is at risk for maternal mortality? Pregnancy and childbirth are among the most special moments in a woman's life. However, some pregnancy can pose high risk to women and their babies' health and can lead to maternal mortality. According to the CDC, in 2019, maternal death is defined as the death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of termination of a pregnancy, including our deaths from any causes related to or aggravated by the pregnancy, but not from accident or incident causes. A woman's lifetime risk of maternal death is the probability that a 15-year-old girl will eventually die from a maternal cause. Approximately 21 million girls ages 15 through 19 years in developed countries become pregnant and approximately 20 million of them give birth. 777,000 deaths occur of adolescent girls younger than 15 years old. This is highest among adolescent girls ages 15 through 19. Approximately 1.20 million women 35 years and older will die from pregnancy every year. This is highest among women 35 years and older. Causes of death and morbidity worldwide. Most of these complications develop during pregnancy and most of them prevented or treatable. Other complications may exist before pregnancy. The major complications that account for nearly 33% of all death, uh, maternal deaths are severe bleeding, mostly bleeding after childbirth is at a 20% rate. Infection usually after childbirth is at a 15% rate. Preclepsia and eclepsia is at a 12% rate. Complication for delivery is at an 8%. And unsafe abortions is at a 13%. Leaving 28% with direct and indirect causes. HIV, heart disease, diabetes, and obesity are all indirect and direct causes. Poor women in remote areas are the least likely to receive adequate health care. This is especially for low numbers of skilled health care workers in developed countries. Africa has the highest rates among developing countries at 150 deaths per 100,000 live births. United States sits at the highest among developed countries with a rate of 8.5 per 1,000 live births. The 10th highest country with the largest ratios of mor uh, maternal mortality in 2013, which are developing countries, Sierra Leone at 3,100, Africa at 63,000, Chad at 5,400, Nigeria at 58,000, South Sutton at 3,500, versus developed countries such as United States at 550, Germany at 268, Singapore at 230, United Kingdom at 353, Greece at 174, and France at 104. Why maternal death is important to public health? While most maternal mortality is preventable, numerous women face daily injuries from risky pregnancy and childbirth yearly. According to the CDC, the vast majority of these deaths is 94% occurred in low resource settings and most could, be, could have been prevented. Maternal and child health continue to be largely overlooked aspect of health care system leading to major risks associated with pregnancy and childbirth. This could be associated with lack of awareness and inadequate health care facilities. The United States had the highest mortality in developed mater, uh, maternal deaths but they have spent over $3.5 trillion versus Africa, who spent less than $7 per person in healthcare expenses, but is the highest in developing countries. Racial and ethnic disparities. Racial disparities are devastating for, for families and communities. Racial and ethnic disparities in pregnant women-related deaths are persistent over time. This is urgent and need to be identified by all complex factors contributing to these disparities and to be designed to intervention that will can reduce preventable pregnancies related deaths. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, a report last year found that preeclampsia and eclampsia seizures that develop after preeclampsia are 60% more in common African-American women. 
African-American women older than 30 are four times more likely to die than white women. Disparities observed in the United States of pregnant-related deaths for Blacks are poverty, distance of facilities, lack of information, inadequ inadequate and poor quality services, and cultural beliefs and practices. Saving our mothers. The primary factor for improving mortality, uh, maternal mortality is the education of women. Also, an, an increase in the use of contraception. Healthcare can help with pre existing conditions with the availability of safe procedures that can prevent death during pregnancy. Nutrition services in developing countries need to have access to um, adequate nutrition, safe water, and cleanliness. Cleanliness is the knowledge of good personal hygiene practices. Regular washing hands, a clean vaginal area during prenatal checkups, and a vaginal delivery area during childbirth can also help prevent infections. More prenatal care, more births in hospitals, or with skilled healthcare providers can help with pregnancy care. Availability of antibiotics, food, blood transfusion, and treatment for complications can help for preventing complication and lead to a safe a safe birth. If possible, if possible, women should have their babies in a healthcare facility. If delivered in a hospital, it can be possible that women can have safer deliveries. Public health system goals. To improve maternal health, barriers that limit access to quality maternal health services must be identified and addressed at both health system and social levels. Strengthening health system and promoting strategies that work for the poor and the co-effective can help monitor and evaluate maternal and newborn illnesses for an impact on social economic development. Building effective partnerships for the resources and maximizing the improvement of maternal and newborn health, advocating for investments in maternal and newborn health by highlighting the social and economic benefits of the human rights inequality issues. Coordinating resources, resources that focus on improving maternal health and pregnancy and during and after childbirth. To avoid maternal death, it is vital to prevent unwanted pregnancies. The UN Sec uh, Secretary General Global Strategies for Women's and Child Health aims to prevent 33 million unwanted pregnancies between 2011 and 2015 and to save the lives of women who are at risk of dying of complications during pregnancy and childbirth, including unsafe abortions. And that is the end of my maternal mortality research presentation. And here are my references. Thank you for listening.